Hello everyone, welcome back to Dangarapa 2, Goodbye Despair. Last time we started the 6th final, the absolute final class trial. Right now we're talking about Monami as she was an observer in the, of the Neo World Program. That's right! She was an NPC that was assigned the role, the role. of the observer! So then who is she in reality? NPC? What's that? <laughs> Non-player character. Yes. A character that's not controlled by a person. Oh, it's just, like us. it's just a CPU player, all right. Monami's existence was created entirely by the program. Wow. Just to monitor the 15 of you. It's kind of sad. <laughs> so what are you, just Please a monitor wait. too? Did you just say 15 people? Chiaki doesn't count. You forgot how to count. We're 16 people in total. No, Chiaki doesn't count. He was probably excluding the other observer. Oh, uh, no. Another observer? Yes. Chiaki, referring to that person. I see. Oh, I still love her though. <laughs> Aside from the 15 participants, there were two observers in the New World program. Oh one my. One of them was Monami. The other one was. Could it have been Chiaki? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Oh, now I'm sad. You're saying Chiaki was an NPC? Are you kidding? She's not real? No. Gosh darn it. Oh. So you're saying she was just a program? And she didn't actually exist in real life? Didn't actually? Maybe she did. And if she died. If she's already dead and then they just made a robot version of her or something. Then she wasn't human? Oh. Oh. She didn't exist at all? You kidding me? Not human. No, that's not it. Chiaki was really alive. I hope. Even if she was a virtual existence, she was really alive. Oh. Did you forget? She saved our lives, you know? I know. Don't get all mushy towards a game character. No, I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna get mushy all I want. Shut up! <laughs> Tell him. Plus, she wasn't just a little game character. She was a lackey for the detestable world ender. She was like... World end. Oh now yeah. That you mention it. You referred to the future foundation by that name before. That just means it was all a bluff, right? So we think that the future foundation was our enemy. Do not joke about the world ending. <laughs> I don't think that's what I was going for. No, there's no doubt that the future foundation is also world ender. Oh, Ender-er. really? For those of us here. What? So everyone who's here. What do you mean, those of us here. Why are you lumping us with Are we you? part of this foundation of the world's enders? It's just a bluff. What? Kuma, what exactly are you? Why don't you just show us your true self already? Uh-oh. I don't think that's gonna- You can't talk? Uh-oh. Junko! It is cowardly of you to just ignore us. Before I reveal my true identity to you guys, it appears the main oh! cast has finally arrived. Are they here? Huh? The one? Uh oh, uh oh. Who? What? World Ender? Jeez. Who's. Oh! Ah! What the? <laughs> this whole thing's falling apart. Makoto! It's not the future foundation's fault. Rather, the fault lies. But what lies what? Wait, what? Us? What did we do? Makoto! You finally arrived! Hajime and Makoto, the two pro tags in the same class trial. Makoto. Yo, are the other five gonna come around? I like to see them. My name is Makoto Naegi. Like you, I'm also a former student of Hope's Peak Academy. Yes, Makoto's and back. Right now, I'm a member of the Future Foundation. Right now. You are from the Future Foundation? Why did someone yeah. like you suddenly show up? To t save us! You came to save us, right? <laughs> well, now that you said it, I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> nope. Hey, what happened? Uh, what is this? He's acting a bit strange. This guy's attitude as if he's been cautious of us. Of course. I don't mind rescuing you guys. But before that, oh. you all need to fully accept the situation you're in. Oh, now we're in a virtual world situation we're in. Why do you think 
Future Foundation decided to put you guys into the Neo World program. I don't know. Who cares? Hurry up and get us out of here. Alright, I don't think it's gonna be that simple, Soda. The Neo World program has another name. Oh! Hope Restoration Program. Hope Restoration Program. By now, you should understand your true identity. What? Our true identities? Aren't we the 15 survivors of Hope's Peak Academy? Who were rescued by the Future Foundation? But... Before you arrived here, Monokuma should have shown you guys some clues. Put them all together and try thinking about it. Who are the 15 survivors of Hope's Peak Academy? You are the remnants of ultimate despair. Us? If you put it together and think about it, you should be able to understand... Oh my, the text the is like that. It's kind of... And think. Uh-oh, are we doing logic dive? Alright, yeah, we're doing logic dive. Let's do it. How many questions do we get? Three, alright. Three is per usual. Question one. Where are we doing? Who are the 15 Hajime and the others? I think this is it. This has to be it, right? We've been playing as in the whole game, and that's the only answer that makes sense. Alright, there. Obvious. Woohoo. Question two. Let's see. Who are the remnants of despair? Are we remnants of despair? Oh my, this path is very narrow. No, I think I think we are. So we're despair, and the, the NPCs of Monami and Shiaki are hope? Oh my. I don't like where this is going. I were Hajime and the others put in this program to rediscover from this to recover from despair? I don't know. Sounds better answer than the other one. Alright, here we go. Hey, we got him all right. Oh, we gotta hit these fire. Oh, no, I messed up. And there we go. Who are the 15 students? Hajime and the others, except Chiaki. Who are the remnants of despair? Hajime and others. What did Hajime put in this? Recover from despair. Yeah, it's all coming together. The game is starting to make more and more sense. The survivors of Hope's Peak Academy and the remnants of ultimate despair are. Us. Yes, both of those phrases refer to you guys. Oh my, what did we do? Did we start the, um, the cult then? That's just destroying the world then. Oh jeez, I didn't expect us to be the bad guys. That's right. Not only are you guys the survivors of Pope's Uh oh, Academy, Makoto's mad at us. You're also survivors of ultimate despair. We survived that. Uh, ultimate despair? <laughs> oh my. Don't be stupid. In the beginning... We took in 15 of you as survivors of Hope's Peak Academy. But upon further investigation, we discovered an unbelievable truth. Jeez. The 15 people we acquired were actually the horrifying remnants of despair. That was us? What is this ultimate despair? You're part of the ultimate despair. Jeez, I didn't expect everyone to be part of it. I remember hearing that the dangerous guys who were responsible for terrorism, coup d'etats, and wars. Sorry about that little pause there. Alright, I want to say something real quick. So, I think this is what's going on. They were, like, dis ultra despair. They were, like, kind of destroying the world. So, their idea was to put them in this, like, in this virtual world to, you know, make them more happy and more hopeful. Because they have ultimate talents. They don't want people with ultimate talents to, you know, being, representing despair. They want them to represent hope. So, they put them in, like, these scenarios where they can, like, be happy and everything, you know, calm down and everything. And Chiaki was there to monitor them to see how they were doing. And Levirus still got in the computer and everything and turned this into a whole killing game. And... It's kind of what happened, and so, and this was getting broadcasted too, so to, you know, to show the world, to get, to bring the world into more despair, if they see ultimates killing each other after them representing despair. So Chucky was there to monitor them to see how they were doing and everything, which is, I feel like, I, this is just a theory, but I think Hajime is probably the ultimate despair, like the leader of it all, which is kind of why I guess Chiaki stuck to Hajime a lot. Is because of that, you know, encourage him, make him happy, because as you could tell, Hajime was pretty happy around Chiaki, even in their free time events. That whole point was just to kind of, I guess, make Hajime happy, more calm, more happy in place. So that's why her final line when she said, don't ever forget about me, even after you get out of here, wasn't necessarily mean that she knew she was going to die, as I thought before. It's because, like, oh, if all, when you get out of this place in, like, you don't feel happy or you're feeling despair. Remember the times you've had with me and how happy you were at those times. You know, to put him in a more calm, happy place is what I'm. I, I think that I, I think that's 
what I'm thinking right now. I don't know how accurate. Nah, I mean, I could be spitting bullcrap right now, but all right, let's continue. I just wanted to say that real quick. Oh, jeez. They're responsible for the tragedy and brought chaos into the world. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Despairing human. Oh, but boy. Void of humanity. That's what you guys really are. Oh my. The ultimate despairs don't care about principles or morals. They just spread despair everywhere they go. And that's us. My gosh. They we really are bad people. To everything. To burn everything. To kill everything. Alright, I think I understand what's going on. Part of a dangerous group like that? I mean, I'm not entirely surprised Fuyuhiko was. He definitely wouldn't be anymore after everything. Well, I don't know. There's no way. Oh, oh. There's no way we're all ultimate despair. Oh, jeez. Nagito probably did what he did because he managed to learn the unbelievable truth. That he was part of despair as well. Everyone in this entire game was. Nagito. Is. Why are you bringing him up all of a sudden? He's still important. We still haven't learned his full motive behind everything. I guess this is it, really. He's the only one who knew this truth before you guys. It was a special prize for clearing the final. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense too, because I was starting to think, are we like despair or something? Because Nagito made it seem to be like that. So now it makes sense to me. It makes a lot more sense now. And it's confirming everything. <laughs> Chiaki! But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Details? Details about our missing memories, information about the time we spent at Hope the Academy. Huh, this is not written in there. His profiles may have been written before we entered Ho the academy. Did he get the book after we got out of the academy then? I don't know. Maybe this is a fake. No. It used to have profiles from after you entered the school. But now oh. you destroyed them before you saw it. Oh, you destroyed them. Why? Why do you know something like that? <laughs> well. Anyway, it's the absolute truth that the file had profiles about you guys after you entered the school. And after Nagito obtained the file and learned the truth, what did he try to do to you guys? Kill us all! You need to learn the what he tried to do to us. You're telling us to answer that? There's no way he could forget all of us except the traitor. Alright, well... <laughs> kill us all. Hangman's Gambit. Alright. It's, it's Kill us all. Yeah. <laughs> exactly what I said. Kill us all! Yep. I got it! I got it. That was Nagia's plan, but then it ended up not working out. Tried to kill everyone except for the traitor. Because the traitor wasn't part of it. It was just a program inside this game. That's right. After seeing the file, you learn that everyone, including him, was ultimate destroyed. Oh, that must be very heartbreaking for Nagito. And you tried to kill everyone except the traitor. Did Nagito try to kill us because we were ultimate despair? That's exactly it. Yes. Because of his love for hope and his hatred toward despair, I sort of... Yeah, he, he just figured out he was something he hated the most. Don't mess with us. Why do we have to be treated like the bad guys? Guess we are. I guess we are an antagonist after all. Some kind of mistake. There's no way we're ultimate despair. Oh, there's gonna be evidence probably. Like I don't need a twist like that. Well, darn. Uh-oh, we're gonna get our memories of when we were being chaotic. But it all happened at Hope's Peak Academy. You were tainted by ultimate despair because at Hope's Peak Academy, you were in contact with her. Her, Junko and Oshima. Junko. True ultimate despair. True. Junko and Oshima. Yeah, but she, she strongly influenced died. you all during your time at the school. And that's why you became ultimate despair. How did you, did you brainwash us or something? In order to remove that influence, you've been placed into the Hope Restoration Program. Is that why you took away our school memories? They don't want you to remember what you've done the reason to make you more hopeful. Like your normal selves is because you're within the Neo World Program. But your true bodies in the real world are different. They're evil! In the real world, you're part of a group that cruelly destroyed your family, friends, oh. and even your own body. Oh, jeez. Family, friends, and our own bodies. Aren't you exaggerating a bit? No! What happened to our real bodies? He's right. There's no way we 
do something like that. That's what you want to believe. Don't turn away from the truth. Yeah, you gotta believe uh, Makoto. Ah, what the? Oh, jeez, what happened? What was that just now? We saw Nagito, a memory, but person that was Nagito, right? Oh, a truth bullet, vision of Nagito. It appears you've remembered a little. Oh, <laughs> well, we got that memory. Now, face what you've done, and from there, you will finally take your first steps on the path to hope. Heck yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's go on. Let's be hope now. All right, I guess assuming that we just got that new truth bullet, we're probably gonna have to use it. Well, let me guess. We're getting all the truth bullets again. Yep, of course we are. All right, vision of Nagi. Oh my. There's obviously some kind of mistake. No. There's no way we're ultimate despair. Oh, I'm sorry to tell you, we are. Because you're all ultimate despair. You killed your friends and family. That's awful. And you we are like Junko. Did what? How can you say we did all that? We're being tricked. We're being tricked by the future foundation. No, we're not. We're not getting tricked. How much despair is within you guys? <laughs> Or ultimate says it's impossible, but if that's the thing is all Earl yeah. Alright, we have to agree on what Makoto said. Let's see. Yeah! That must be it. That must be it. That memory I felt was actually a memory from the real world. What Magito did was real. His own arm. It transplanted a woman's arm? Oh mm, my. Uh, Jeez. Not just any woman's arm. It was the late Junko and Oshima's arm. How did you obtain that? That's kind of scary. What? what did you say? He probably thought that by becoming one with Junko and Oshima, he could make her survive within it. My gosh. This is quite a twist. I, I don't get this at all. I don't. I'm still trying to comprehend what the heck is going on. I mean, I understand what's going on, but this is just what the heck. Did we do this to ourselves then? You don't need to use it in the virtual world. No, I don't want to see that. Not even the worst thing the ultimate despairs have done. What did we, what more did we do? Oh! We wasted away to skin and bones through continuous fasting in order to reach the despair of starvation. No, that's just it's awful. Others gave their own families to Junko just to perform killing experiments on them. Jesus. Not just that. After Junko's death. They slaughtered countless people by forcing them to commit suicide. Oh gosh, this game one is really dark. Planted one of Junko's eyes into their own socket. Oh, this is. Perhaps they wanted to see her despair. This is kind of disgusting. And not just that, some even tried to have children with Junko's dead body. What the? <laughs> What's wrong with these kids? Just I thought stop. I liked them. Oh, jeez. I thought they were good people. I thought they were all sweet and innocent. I guess not. They're all complete jerks. <laughs> oh my. That's just a bullshit story. That's obviously bullshit. So Chiaki was like the only person who was a genuinely good person here. So you feel despair toward yourselves in the real world. I understand that feeling. But there's no need to worry. You just advance toward the hope I provide. You'll definitely be safe. Do it. Do it. Save. You'll save us? That's kind of the point of this whole game was to save y'all from being despair. Of course. That's my purpose after all. That's why the Neo World program was created too. Yeah. You put us inside this program so that you can save us? Yes, yeah, so then you come out of it not being a crazy psychopath that you all are. Essentially, your cohabitation inside the Neo World program was just a simulation. If we remove the memories of your time at Hope's Peak Academy, would it also remove your ultimate despair? Hopefully! So, you're saying this was like, a test? I guess I can say that the test was a success. 
Yay then! Even though it deviated greatly from the original plan of graduating <laughs> after gathering the hope fragments. Yeah, that was supposed to happen, but you know, virus. Nevertheless, you guys were able to overcome your unexpected trials and make your way here. Well, not everyone made it, unfortunately. That's why. All you need to do is choose graduate. Yeah, let's graduate. Do that, we can get out of here. However, if you graduate from here, your school memories will never return. Is that necessarily a bad thing? I mean, if it, I think we don't want to remember it if it's that bad. Huh? If you choose to graduate, and the observer determines that there are no problems, observer you complete the hope restoration program, and your avatar will be uploaded into your real body. Uh, uploaded? <laughs> yeah. It means, by uploading our avatar's memories into our bodies, we are forcefully erasing our past selves. I mean, I guess it's better than going out in the world full of despair and your old self, I guess. That's why it's called the Hope Rest Restoration Program. So that, that is the Neo World Program. Hey, what happens to the people whose avatars die? Do they die in real life? An avatar that needs to be uploaded has been deleted. There's nothing we can do. So if they be, so, but if they die, that doesn't necessarily mean they're deleted. So they could still make it back alive then. So you're saying they'll never wake up? God damn it! Jeez, so they are kind of dead. Damn fucking shit! Oh, poor Fui. <laughs> um, ah! Take a look at this flip book for a quick rundown of your options. All right, let's see what the heck we can do. If you choose graduate, it'll transfer your in-game memories, but your school memories will be gone forever. Unfortunately, the people who have already died will not be able to wake up. Gosh. Just a thought. What will happen if we do not choose to graduate? Do they come back alive if they if we don't graduate? Just have to continue living your tropical life. Okay. Why you gotta ask something like that? Well, even if we wake up in the real world, we are all rather messed up, right? If that is the case, then maybe staying on this island is... Not a good idea. Someone's gonna say it's a bad say? idea. Alright, yeah. Oh, Connie. Haven't we been working this hard just to escape from here? You don't have to force yourself to return to a painful reality. Let's just play this game forever! Ever. No, I don't want to play the killing game forever and ever. Don't be ridiculous. If I stay in this screwed up world any longer, I'm uh oh, this game is gonna put him put Soda into more despair. But still, is it really okay to sacrifice the others just to save ourselves? Oh. You're asking that now? If we don't get out of here now, then what was everything we've done up till now even for? We're right. We've been desperately trying to survive until we could finally leave this place. If we don't get out of here, all our deaths we endured will be in vain. I know this, but... Oh my. Something's not right. Monokuma isn't trying to stop us. You gonna stay quiet, overlook us getting out of this game world? Then everything Monokuma would be, would did would be pointless too. Not only that... Is it really okay to for us to believe him? Should we get out? Oh, what if I pick dot dot dot? Oh, let's try it. Say nothing. Wait, we have some time to decide. I think that was the right choice. I don't think there's an alternate ending to this game. I don't think, unless there is. Did you get scared like Sonia? No, it's not that. Don't you think this is a little strange? I mean, yeah. Strange. You still don't understand. Normally, ultimate despairs like you guys would just be abandoned. But, but we're hope. You, I'm here to help. Well, not hope, but. Thankful for how open-minded the future found. Well, I guess we were ta ultimate talent, except Hajime. M Makoto, what has happened to you? I mean, you never met him, so you don't know he's actually the Foundation. acts though. The future Foundation is the world's hope, you know. So we gotta follow it. So I thought there's something wrong with you. <laughs> Uh oh, what are we doing? Ultimate battle of make your argument. Uh oh, let's see what happened. All right, let's see. No, no, what happened? What are we doing? All right, let's see. I think this is gonna you be said it. I'm going to save you guys. 
Why aren't you listening to me? Because you betrayed the group, didn't you? I mean, the Future Foundation's the good guys, right? And apparently, we are actually the bad guys. Ooh, I trust him, right? The Future Foundation is the world's hope. No one can defy the Future Foundation. Oh, but you did. It's foolish to even think about. Ah, crap! I accidentally shot nothing. All right. See, there's something wrong with him based on the information obtained. Yeah, he's a traitor. All right, we can skip through all this. We're good guys, we're bad guys. Nope. No, that's wrong. <laughs> you did. Hold on. Did you say it's foolish to defy the future foundation? Yeah, but you did. How do you explain your actions? My actions? Yeah. Uh oh, it's flipping back to Makoto. I saw it. The email that the future foundation sent to you. Are they? Is he really the bad guy? And then we're good. I don't know. At this point. Anyone could be a good or bad guy. Well, we're definitely bad guys if we destroyed the world. Are we all? Every single one of us just bad people. Where are you guys? What are you doing right now? What are you doing in a serious act of treason? Do you understand? What you're doing is... Why are you trying to protect the remnants of despair? Shouldn't have bucked in clear how dangerous it is to keep these people alive. Oh. Stay calm and think about this carefully. You guys are, you guys are being lied to. Think carefully about what's important to bringing the light of hope to the world. Oh, so the Future Foundation wanted to kill him, but Makoto's like, no. Six of you, of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed to our deals, right? Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and helped you recover your memories. Immediately return the remnant of despair to our headquarters. Ah, uh, return them to the headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, the tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of a hope-filled future. In that email, Makoto Naegi defied the Future Foundation to protect the remnants of despair. Ooh. It really contradicts what this person is saying. Ah! <laughs> you don't like getting exposed, don't you? Is that email for real? Future Foundation tried to kill us? Man, so they really weren't trying to save you. Hold on! We'll deal with that later. Hey, Monokuma. Those clues we found were all real, right? So the world enders maybe tried saving him from killing off getting, getting King killed off in the future foundations. Yes! <laughs> yes! It's not the only contradiction. What this Makoto person is saying also contradicts what we've been told. Essentially, I cannot graduate cannot guarantee that there are no issues with this program. To tell you the truth, I, I wasn't sure whether or not to run the program on you guys. It's the only way to save you. I wanted to protect you. For me, those words seem much more real. If so, the person in front of us is... Tell me, Makoto Naegi. Who are you? Uh-oh. Who is he? Simply put, he's Makoto Naegi. <laughs> he's known for being a cutie patootie. Interesting words you describe him as. I'm not asking you. I'm asking... You insolent fool! If you're saying he's not Makoto, then show me some proof! Oh, I think he's trying to interfere then. Prove whether or not Makoto's not real and I'm gonna shove that in his face. The number that Makoto told me specifically- Oh, 11037. Panic talk attack. Oh, we're fighting Monokuma! I can't hear you! Oh. Nope. It's 11037. Leon! Leon's still important, even though he died in Chapter 1 in the first game. I'm st he's still here. <laughs> kind of, I guess. 11037! One, 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 Leon! Ha! You're depressed. Ha! Think you're gonna stop me? Makoto Naegi. That's who you really are. Then tell me this. Why did you make the password to Nezumi Castle? One zero three seven. Oh yeah, answer me. You don't know? Um, what was that again? Liar! You're not really Makoto. Get out of here, phony, fake. You can't answer. That's weird. Wait, you? Where'd you find that out? Who cares? So how about it? Answer, answer me. Yeah, answer. Oh man, I've been found out. Oh. 
then you're not Makoto. <laughs> oh my! Disappointing. And Jeez. I I was on the right track. Uh oh. I knew it. We shouldn't trust this Makoto. This Makoto's a lie. He disappeared. <laughs> hey, that guy disappeared. Well, I mean. <laughs> Why are you surprised? It's a computer program, so anything's possible, right? Yeah. <laughs> That was just the work of Monokuma. Monokuma tried tricking us? You jerk. Aw, you found out I was faking. This is so embarrassing. I just want to kill myself. Well, get out of here, Monokuma. Why'd you show us a fake member of the Future Foundation? <laughs> to be a jerk. That fake was trying to get us out to the real world. Oh, he doesn't want us. So, I guess the Future Foundation doesn't really want you out. I guess. And that's your plan? Is that where your trap is? Man, they saw right through me. <laughs> I may as well be invisible. That'd be nice. A trap? What kind of trap did you set? Hey, if you know what's good for you, you better hurry the hell up and confess. Yeah, tell oh, us you everything. Death if you tell us now. But if you don't spit it out soon, I'm just gonna kill ya. Just kill him right now. Then this nightmare can finally I don't think end. it's gonna end ever if you kill him. Violence is not allowed. This isn't that kind of game. It's a much smarter game, right? Right. What game? This game is already over. Yeah, and this game. This game is over? No. No, no, no. I'm not gonna let you finish yet. There's no way this can end before I've even transformed. Transform? Tra to Junko or something? A transformation is customary in a final boss battle. Oh right? my. You really are training like this is a video game. Role playing game? You know what game I'm talking about? Final Fan <laughs> Don't say it. Now then. I don't know. I need to show you. I'll skip the second and third forms and go straight to my final form. Junko. I'm gonna beat the crap out of you and pull all your stuffing out. <laughs> you still threatening Monokuma? Who's it gonna be? Junko. Oh, he's powering up. He's going Super Saiyan. Uh oh. I feel like my screen just flashed purple. What? I have a bad feeling about this. Run! It's like the inside of my brain is burning, sizzling. A really, really bad feeling. Uh oh. Might want to stay back. He's gonna just. Rocks are coming up. <laughs> All right, I'll try not to forget. Assuming you don't erase my memory of this happening. Here we go. Monokuma's gone Super Saiyan. Ah! Whoa. Then why are you doing this if you're gonna? All right. Here we go. Who's he? Oh, his eye! He's sans! <laughs> oh, alright, what happened? Ooh. Whoa! Junko! <laughs> oh, jeez, big Junko. Oh my, the Junko is scary! <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, you're on your cell phone now, huh? Take a picture of us? Who are you calling? Oh, AI Junko. Whoa, the background changed again. Oh my, this music. Holy crap. <laughs> Full out 3D Junko. Oh, they're all on the opposite side now. Oh. <laughs> Man, low poly Junko is a bit scary. What? What's going on? It's 3D Junko and 2D Junko. <laughs> <laughs> I think I am too. I know anything goes here, but this? This is clearly not fucking okay. I see. So that's your reaction to seeing an extra large high school girl. I mean, you're like 100 feet. Really that big? Oh no, two of them. <laughs> she's huge. She's way too huge. And she's actually 3D modeled, unlike you guys. Boss in a certain action game is much bigger. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to state that. Knifeella. Knifeella. I don't even know what that game is. 
What? I see, I see. An estimated bus size of 15 meters, huh? My boobs are hopelessly huge. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey, want me to squish you in between? No! Big boobs feel good, you know. Shut up. I get fucking crushed! <laughs> <laughs> True. If this was a pandering fan service game full of pretty girls, there'd be a CG close up of my cleavage. But no, stop. Dad, this isn't a fan service game. I mean, kind of is. This is not an action game either. I mean, this game is partially fan service. You won't I even guess. get to experience the refreshing sensation of battling an enormous final boss. Oh, do we get to defeat you? Yo, I hope we just go out fight him. Yeah! Fight Junko. <laughs> A robot junk, an AI junko. We have to deal with this thing. <laughs> well, now you do. Shocked you'd call me this thing. Oh, you're so mean. Just like Chapter Six, junko. Um, is it just me, or did her personality change? Oh yeah, she flips into a bunch of personalities. I get easily bored of my personality. Like I already got bored of my personality. Who gets easily bored? <laughs> And that's when Fuyuhiko would say, It's too damn soon to say you got bored, right? <laughs> what? You know exactly what he was gonna say. I have plenty of data on you guys, so it's so easy for me to know what you're all thinking. That's scary. You, you are not bored at all. I got bored of getting bored. Jeez. Even when I'm dead, I still get bored. This sucks. Even when you're dead, does that mean... Is this person's true identity, Junko? I see. Anoshima. Are you Junko Anoshima? Yep. Did you say Junko Anoshima? Isn't she? Dead? But this is a program. She's back. It's true. I did end up dying the last time. Yeah, cause you did that to yourself. I didn't mean to go so fast. I couldn't help it, you know. It was my first time. Your first and last time. Stupid. You're the one who made me go. I I wasn't in the first killing game. And Sorry. Someone who died here right now. I wonder why. Do you guys know about an artificial intelligence called Alter Ego? Yes, Chihiro. Chihiro's Alter Ego. Exuberance. We are now an AI. We have transcended <laughs> humanity. British British Junko best Junko. What AI? Stop saying all this crazy bullshit. Wait, see, Chihiro gonna come back? Oh, you're just as smart as Chihiro to make an AI then. And then well, I guess have the same ability. Who? Oh, that's insane. I know it's insane. This insane jerk is Junko Enoshima. She's responsible for everything. Destruction of Hope Street Academy and destruction of the world. The one who took over the Neo World Program and forced us to kill each other? So Junko is the virus. That's all this jerk's doing? Even so, what am I supposed to do? Even if we know she's Junko and Oshima. I guess that's true. Oh. I don't think I want to be friends with you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they hate me. Yeah, even us ultimate despairs hate ultimate despair. And I was thinking of you guys when I tampered with the graduation program. But they still hate me. What, you're trying to save us now or something? Huh? Tampered with the graduation program? Remember what that fake Makoto said earlier? <laughs> fake. About what happens to you when you graduate, I know he's fake, right? though. I feel like you guys weren't getting a big enough reward for graduating. So what else are we going to get? So, I decided to modify what happened so it's something exciting and unique. Just like a game. You modified it to a killing- OH! Uploading your game memories into your real bodies is fine, but letting your friends stay dead just sucks. Revive them! That's why I decided to resurrect them. <laughs> Oh my, we're really bringing them all back to life? This is the new graduation program I'm offering. Resurrect? Hey, are, are you serious? Can you really do that? I mean, and she, earlier we were seeing them all flashing in her face again, so I guess they're, they still kind of exist. <laughs> the graduation program is the core part of this game, so it was protected with a lot of encryption. 
to go. It took me a long time. I felt show. Show. Genocide show. Yeah, because you didn't know how to do it. Well, actually, Mukro didn't. Before that, every time a computer froze, I used to put it in a microwave and nuke it. Well, that's a great way to solve all your problems. How long do you think it took for me to modify it? Who cares about that? Are you serious when you say that everyone who died will come back to life? That'd be nice. Did you forget? You gotta answer questions to progress the story. That's the rule of this game. You have to know everything before I could get them all back. I'll give you a clue. You guys were always watching time slip away at a certain point. Oh yeah, the timer. You're not gonna tell us until we answer that. We're complete. We're completely at her mercy. If we can't progress, we won't, we won't answer. We have no choice but to answer. I don't remember how long it took the junk took junk and Ashima to modify the graduation program. She said she was watching how long it took. So the certain place we were watching it was Jabberwock Park. Yeah. The countdown at Jabberwock Park. That's the only place we can think of. 21 That's days. The only place we consistently watch that has anything to do with time. Then that countdown represented the time that was needed to modify the program. Oh, that's what it was. How brilliant! Slightly wrong! <laughs> what? Slightly wrong about that tricky timer. Wrong? Then what was it? How should I put this? I was just... goofing around? <laughs> you were goofing around for 21 days. I mean, isn't stuff you don't understand exciting even though you don't get it? I guess. Like superhero cosplayers, or someone else's designs of alien life and stuff, right? It, it was just for show. Oh. It was meaningless. Does that fill you with despair? Like getting booted from a game server? Oh yeah, we're gonna get booted from the server. You know those murder mysteries where the culprit is really the detective who's investigating the murder? Oh. I'm so over predictable crap like that. Just what did you expect at this stage of the game? A lot of random garbage to happen at this point. She's she's seriously messed up. Oh yeah, she definitely is. Well, in a way, the countdown implied I was on a mission. Did you ever make up your own silly rules like don't step off the white line when you cross the road? Oh yeah. <laughs> I was testing myself to see if I could get you guys. Or you try to take the same amount of steps on like zero. each tile on the sidewalk. Enough. Please stop. Don't be so disappointed. It's totally true. I had a hard time manipulating the program. While you guys were at the beach making wrinkly dog faces, I was working so hard on my own, you know? Good for you. Hey, enough with this pointless crap. Are you seriously going to resurrect Shuhiko everyone? Shuhiko just really died? wants everyone alive. I guess I do too. Like I said, it's easy. Also, sorry about that. After all. Sorry, I burped. Like, just the game. Yeah. Each and everything that happened in this world was just an event within the game. There's no way anything that occurred in the game could affect the real world. What Unless it did. It's completely different from what you said before. You said whether or not it's a lie. The moment you feel something is real, it becomes real. The game where you throw my words back at me is over. <laughs> so you don't really have to worry about Oh my, Junko. Fine. I won't worry about it. Aw, poor Fuyi. Okay. Hey. Who fucking cares about logic? As long as everyone who died comes back to life, that's good enough. He just wants everyone back, and I appreciate that. But if we do not understand the principles behind it, then we do not even know if it is really possible. Anything goes in this world. You've seen that happen so many times already, right? Well, if a high school girl can get <laughs> then it's not crazy if the dead can come back to life. Especially in a virtual world. If she's saying that's how she tampered with the computer program, how are we supposed to respond to that? That's right. That's why you should finish this game and go back to living a normal life in the real world. Yeah, let's live normal lives and not cause chaos. If we go back. What do you get out of it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, what do you want out of this? To the real world. As long as we don't know what it is. Man, that's so annoying. <sighs> you're so petty. It's not like you're a housewife living on a tight budget. <laughs> that's an interesting comparison. All I want is to put on this graduation performance in a more dramatic way. By causing chaos and making this super weird. Well, if you doubt me, you don't have to go back. Is that what you want? Not to go back? 
Well, I do. We're obviously going to get out of here. If it'll bring our dead friends back, it's all we can do. Of course. We've been working toward that goal for like forever. Yeah, like 21 days. Because we had that goal, we were able to endure those killings. This everyone can go back together. So there's no reason to hesitate. You are right. There is no way we can choose to stay here after all we've been through. Just as expected from the winners of this killing school trip, your will to live is truly ultimate. Our will to be happier. Wonderful. That's just more reason for and you to execute more hopeful. your role as devices. Devices? Okay, now let's stop stalling for time with exposition and hurry up and do it. What? What are we going to do? Why don't you guys just go ahead and answer with the touch panel that's in front of you? Oh, are we actually going to get to choose? I'm going to do it. I'm seriously going to do it. If you don't hurry up, I'm seriously really going to do it. What are you going to do? You don't have to say, who are you talking to? It doesn't concern a chump like you, Hajime. Oh, you're calling out me? Chump? <laughs> don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be over once we press this. So we just have to press graduate, right? It seems to that, be the case. We can go home, right? Not exactly. I can go home. With this, I can finally go back. He's right. With ever with this, we can we can finally go back. This will be the end. Our friends who have died will be saved. That's that's way beyond what we expected. Oh my gosh, we actually have the choice. All right, I'm going to end it here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the like button, and I'll see you all next video. Bye!